What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here. And uh, I got a little helper here today. We are gonna be kind of overhauling my VR slash home theater system that we built last year. It, need, it needs a little bit of help. It's a bit dirty. Might even upgrade it while we're in here. I recently went through uh, a, a series of failed corrupted updates that I actually got fixed yesterday, but I didn't make a video about. It took me, what, it took me a couple hours, yeah. didn't it? And I was getting mad, wasn't I? I was getting mad at Windows. You so anyway. said that you were gonna give up and then you didn't. I, I didn't give up, I don't give up. Yeah. That's how I got you. Uh, Here's what we're gonna do today. We are going to go, that was very inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take it apart, we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna get her hands on because of course this is how we get our kids to be smarter than us. We teach them. So what do you say, you wanna, you wanna help me today? Yeah. Okay, well we need to get you something to stand on too because you're short. Here you can stand on Post Malone's case. <laughs> Now today's video is sponsored by NordVPN and it is back to school time and it is more important than ever to protect your connection. Your kids are going to be getting online, looking up research, you may be heading off to college and whether or not you work in an office environment, connecting to the internet is dangerous. NordVPN has over 4,000 servers in over 60 countries including Africa, Asia, the Middle East, you name it, you can connect safely and securely with NordVPN. And let's face it, with the ongoing litigation too regarding ISP slowdown and net neutrality, don't let anyone spy on your connection. Now you can use it on your mobile devices, your laptops, and of course, your desktops. So start taking your internet security serious with NordVPN and save 77% off a three-year membership by using offer code Jays 2 cents at checkout, or you can just click the link in the description below. I'm taller than you. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. All right there. Okay, safety is important, so <laughs> we have to do this. <laughs> you know, that's the wrong way. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. I always forget that. So that's what it looks like inside there. Oh, it's actually more room than I thought. I was like, where's my RAM? Oh, is it on the other side? It's a 7740X, which is where they took a 77, or 7740X is a 7700K that they squeezed into the X299 platform, but only has dual channel memory. So that's why I said I might actually upgrade this cooler today, or this system today by dropping in the uh, 7800X or whatever it is up there. That was a Nick's old machine. But yeah, I forgot. I made this system just out of spite. Out of what? I mean, out of spite. That means where you do something because someone said not to, oh. like you do for me all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. No. We got to blow out the dust. <laughs> you have the poofiest hair ever. <laughs> Put yourself together, kid. I think I forgot how good of a job I did on this, man. All right, pat my back here because thank you. Glad somebody appreciates me around here. So we are going to take these fans off. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of <laughs> is the fact that what. I have, the dad jokes have to be real today. <laughs> the only thing I'm not a fan of, again, with this case, is the fact that the filters are not removable. Oh, I wired it in. There are times where how crazy I am regarding wire management comes back to bite me. This would be one of those times. So this spot right here was never actually intended to hold a radiator. It was supposed to just be for an exhaust fan. So a fan fits in there just fine. The problem is you have the extra thickness of the rad you know, the end tanks on here and you can kind of see where it was hidden right there. There's some damage right there on the radiator when we first tried to install it. So this actually gave us the spacing we needed to move it past this hinge because the hinge right there is where it was actually hitting. Gosh. My God, are you still snorting and sniffling over there? It's like someone blew a whole bunch of air in your face, huh? You did. No, I didn't. If you did. I didn't do it, the blower did it. Most home theater PCs are considered to be silent optimized, right? So it doesn't interfere with your, hey. with your music or your movies and stuff. To be honest, this never plays movies. It, this, all this does is play VR and stuff. And I was debating right now actually putting in one of my micro, my EVGA micros, because the micro X299 or micro ATX, I think gives me clearance to be able to actually run my slot drive. And I do have a Blu-ray slot drive. Believe it or not, the Xbox Blu-ray player is actually better than the one built in this. Is that the white Xbox that you got from Best Buy? You're not supposed to say that on the internet. Everyone knows I'm a PC gamer guy. I'm the boss here. <laughs> I hate this cooler. 
Is anyone else's under boobs sweating in here? Because mine is. <laughs> what? <laughs> a little higher. A little higher. A little higher. Okay, right there. Ah. Keep holding it. Ah. Got it. Do you think that's how open heart surgery goes? <laughs> so here's the 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z memory that was already in there. Here's the other half of the kit that we stole it from. So not only are we getting a CPU upgrade to a 78, I think it's a 7800 or 7820, so I can't remember what the actual number is. It's the eight core. But we also are gonna be having to remove the motherboard because I forgot there's no way you can actually screw it back down with the cooler in the way. So you are gonna unscrew these. So undo that motherboard screw right there. That one, and then you're gonna work your way around and get all of them so I can take the motherboard out. There we go. Yay. Okay. So the Azeroth Killer motherboards are, I think, better for the X299 series than they were on the previous, because previous they had all the red and all the ugly theme on there. If you know what Fatality is, it was actually one of the first professionally paid gamers back in like the 90s, and his name is what's on this series. Um, but yeah, I like the way this looks with the gunmetal and stuff. Too bad you can't see it. So I'm doing this because, not that I don't have faith that my daughter could do this, I just, uh, it could be potentially a very expensive mistake if she bends pins on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one myself. Doesn't mean I'm any less likely to do it, but at least I would be okay with me doing it than her being upset that she did it, so hopefully that makes sense. But now we have just that easily doubled the amount of cores and threads. Now we have a 7740X that was the most useless CPU they ever made that's now gonna probably sit in a box forever. <laughs> that's a lot, that's a lot of... <laughs> Ow! Sharp! I've been holding my hand. Don't you pity pat me. All right, we're ready to put this back in now. Okay, you're gonna set this motherboard in for me, okay? So don't just flop it in there. You can actually hold it by the cooler, then your hand will fit. Yeah. yeah, you can grab it by the cooler. There you go. Use it like a handle. There you go. See, that's easy, isn't it? Where'd you put the screws? Oh wait, I took those screws, didn't I? So here you those go. Ones. Those ones? Those ones is not proper grammar. You don't have to have proper grammar. Well, you are ready for YouTube comments then. <laughs> One of the reasons why I'm doing all this, to be honest, is the temperatures on the CPU were getting a little warmer than, warmer than I wanted them to. And a lot of that is just simply because we're dealing with a confined space. We've got not a lot of space between the top of the fan and the top of the case. Those pipes are not bent perfectly straight. Oh well. And so what's happening here is it's just, this is all getting pushed down and we only have this one 120 exhaust. So I have to up the CFM by upping the RPM. Um, this system mostly is just used for my simulator rig where I have an HMD on my head anyway and headphones. Who cares how loud it is, to be honest. Got it. So this is why these little tabs are here. See, you put these in and then you bend them back. The problem is if you bend them too many times, they break off. And that's why you were sitting there bending it back and forth and I'm like, stop it. It sounds like stitch when you said that I want to just not to do it, the thing is. And the land down on that. What? I keep dating myself. I couldn't remember why we did that until I realized it impacts on the eight pin plug on the eight pin EPS because I, then I can't get the fan all the, way, all the way down. So I had chopped it so that it would then just slide in there and not impact. What I'm thinking about doing right now is just c cutting off these tabs on the eight pin so if you can see how much clearance I'll get if I snap those off. Knowing my luck, I'll probably snap them off and it will still hit. Now we're modified. Okay, moment, moment of, truth. of truth. Did this fit now? Yay! It fits! All right, GQ time. There we go. Easy. It's RGB that makes it colorful. Do you want RGB flashing lights all over your computer? Yeah! So if you are the kind of person that built an RGB themed build, and you have the same mindset as a nine year old girl. Nothing wrong with that. Can I have the color changing things that are in your computer? You mean the very expensive RGB G Skill DDR4 RAM? Well, you already have a 1080 Ti, I don't see why not. So, one of the things that this thing was doing during its update that borked was as soon as it would go to the login screen, it was just black screen. Video was dead. Um, you guys probably saw a video go up recently where we talked about how to deal with blue screens of death and boot loops and stuff. 
And so, yeah, we're good to go. So we're done here. Basically, it's just a video of me having to get something done and decide to make a video about it and took little Jay to work with me because she goes back to school next week. Monday. Yes. Although I'm not home when you're gone, so what does it matter? I'll come home to a happier mommy, though, because mm -hmm. you drive her insane. All right, guys, we're going to go. Thanks for hanging out with us while I upgraded this extremely ridiculous uh, like home theater VR machine now with eight cores and 16 threads and 32 gigs of RAM and a water-cooled 1080 Ti. Can't wait. Baby hands. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. <coughs> Audio check. How's the nose sound? All right, I'm serious. We can have fun, but you need to calm down. Okay. <laughs> Funny story, we don't put this against our mouth anymore because I actually farted into this.